things to do, so many things to see. are quietly grazing. They are eating the rich grass and alfalfa. Here's the chicken yard. Dick and Betty Lou Johnson live on this farm, and each day they feed the chickens. They scatter the grain on the ground for the chickens to eat. On a farm, jobs like this are called chores. Betty Lou and Dick help out with the chores when they're not in school. In the hen house, Betty Lou and Dick are going to gather the eggs. This hen is sitting on her nest. She doesn't seem to mind when Dick takes her eggs. They've gathered quite a few eggs. While Betty Lou takes the basket to the house, Dick will tell Mother how many eggs they have. Mother is working in the vegetable garden. Dick tells her how many eggs they gathered, and she says she'll use some of the eggs while her vegetables are growing. She's pulled some carrots from the ground. And she's going to pick some squash from the vine. Here are rows of sweet corn, people to eat. These tomatoes are ripe enough to eat. They'll make a tasty salad for supper. Mrs. Johnson grows the fresh vegetables she needs right in her own backyard. Betty Lou comes to remind Dick that they have more chores to do. At this time every day, they always help out in the barn where the cows are kept. They have something special to see. It's a little calf with its mother. This calf is only three days old. He has a big appetite. Cows can give milk only after they have had a calf. When the calves are a little bigger, they drink their milk from a nipple on a pail. These are older calves that are called heifers. When they are full grown, they will be cows. Cows need plenty of food and water. Betty Lou and Dick are feeding them again. Cows also eat the fresh grass and alfalfa that grows in the pasture. Each day, Betty Lou and Dick let the herd of cows out of the barnyard. Now the herd is moving toward the pasture. This cow with a bell around her neck is leading the way. Out in the green pasture, the cows will spend most of the day until milking time late in the afternoon. Some of the time, the cows will munch on the green grass which grows here in the pasture. And sometimes they will quietly rest under shady trees. Not far from the pasture is Silky, Betty Lou and Dick's pet colt. In about a year, Silky will be as big as Star, his mother. Star is a beautiful mare and a well-trained riding horse. Star is used to a saddle. And Dick's a pretty good rider. He's going to ride Star around the field. See how Silky stays close to his mother. The colt seldom leaves her side. When Betty Lou is older, she'll be able to ride Star, too. Dick and Betty Lou are really lucky living on a dairy farm. They don't have to go to a park to have fun. Now they'll take Star and Silky by the stable, fishing poles. Betty Lou has a can of bait. Fishing on a dairy farm? Yes, there is a pond on this dairy farm. He has the time. Betty Lou thinks she has a bite. 
She's caught one. It's fun to play and work outdoors every day. In this field on the dairy farm, a farmhand is driving a tractor. The tractor is pulling a mower. The sharp blades of the mower cut the alfalfa. The alfalfa is cut in rolls. The cut alfalfa is left on the field to dry. When it is dried, this machine rakes it into rolls. In another field on the dairy farm, the alfalfa cut a few days ago has dried in the warm sun. It is now called hay. Now the loose, dry hay is picked up by another machine called a baler. The loose, dry hay is pressed and tied into bales. The bales are pushed up onto a wagon. This baler is being pulled by a tractor driven by Mr. Johnston. Summertime is a busy time for dairy farmers. Now Mr. Johnson takes the hay to the barn. This machine lifts the bales of hay into Oats are also stored in the barn. Oats and hay provide food for the cattle during the winter months on a dairy farm. Another food for cattle is corn. Most of the food for the cattle and horses is grown by Mr. Johnson on the dairy farm. Betty Lou and Dick have looked at the corn every few days this summer. Each day the corn has gotten taller and taller. This kind of corn is called field corn. It is the kind used to feed animals on the farm. This tractor is pulling a corn chopper. It is a machine used to harvest the field corn. The machine cuts the corn stalks and corn into bits. The chopped corn is blown into a wagon. When the wagon is full, it is pulled to this tall silo. The chopped corn is unloaded from the wagon and blown up a long pipe into the silo. Chopped corn stored in the silo is called ensilage and is used to feed the animals in winter. It's now late afternoon and Betty Lou and Dick have one more chore to do. They have to bring the cows back from the pasture to the barn for milking. The cows on the Johnson farm are milked and fed in this barn. In the barn are rows of stalls with stanchions. The stanchions hold each cow in place while she is milked and fed. Also in this barn are a cat and her kittens. They help catch mice in the barn. At milking time, Mr. Johnson and his helpers feed the cows ground grain. Betty Lou and Dick clean and brush the cows to make sure that no dirt gets into the milk. Even their udders have to be washed to remove any dirt which might have gotten on them in the pasture. Cows are also sprayed to kill flies, which are bothersome pests. Next, Mr. Johnson takes a little sample of milk from each cow and looks at it to make sure it's all right. Not a drop of this milk will be wasted. The kittens and mother cat will enjoy this milk. It's time to milk the cows. Betty Lou and Dick are going to watch. This is a milking machine. These four cups are attached to the cow's udder. Listen to the action of the milking machine drawing the milk out of the cow's udder.
When the pail in the milking machine is filled, it is taken to the milk house. Here the warm milk is strained and poured into a large tank where it is kept cool. Later the milk is pumped through this hose into the tank truck from the dairy. This tank truck will take the fresh milk to a dairy in a city several miles away. Here at the dairy the milk is pasteurized. That is, it is treated to kill germs that may be in the milk before it is placed into cartons. This is the pasteurized milk that we drink, just as the Johnson family does. A glass of cold milk is good to drink any time of the day. And milk will certainly taste good with supper this evening on the Johnson farm. Mr. Johnson is washed up and ready for supper. And here are Dick and Betty Lou. After a day of working and playing on the dairy farm, Dick and Betty Lou will enjoy this meal. Here are vegetables from their garden, sweet corn, and tomatoes. And look what's for dessert, a freshly baked cake. Tomorrow, Dick and Betty Lou will have chores to do again. They'll have to take care of their pets especially Star, the mayor. They also have to look after their colt, Silky. And the kittens in the barn have to be fed, too. They'll also have farm chores to do, feeding the chickens, gathering the eggs, feeding the heifers, taking the cows to pasture, and bringing them back to the barn for milking. Like Dick and Betty Lou and their mother and father, you'd have a lot to do here too. But it would also be fun working on a farm like this, a dairy farm. <laughs>